Computers used to be big, now they are small. Back then, the keyboard was conceived to roughly match the size of human hand. The design worked well, and still does, provided it in fact can accommodate two hands. This is not the case on today's mobile devices, where it is squeezed into barely a couple of inches. Not only is it impossible to use two hands, but even with a single finger it can be difficult to hit the right key. This creates a frustrating experience where typing is slow, error-prone, and constantly requires the user's attention. Many solutions have come up to assist the user, such as autocompletion, error correction, and predictions. But although essential, they do not address the most important question of all. If the keyboard was invented today for mobile devices, would it have looked the same? Probably not. We need something new. Introducing the 8-pen. The 8-pen presents a radical shift in the way you write on small touch-enabled devices. Here is how it works. Instead of a set of keys to hit, the keyboard area consists of a central region surrounded by four sectors. Each sector holds eight characters placed along the edges. A character is the result of a gesture, starting in the center, entering any of the four sectors and then passing through either one, two, three or four adjacent sectors in either clockwise or anticlockwise direction before returning to the center. The side on which the characters are placed indicates the direction of the gesture and the order along the edges indicates the number of sectors to be passed through. For instance, the letter G, third on the right edge of the top sector, is produced by moving out to the top sector, then going in the clockwise direction one, two, three sectors along, and then returning to the center. The letter E is simply up, right and back. Words are thus entered in a continuous motion and mimics human handwriting. The space character is inserted whenever the pointer is released from the center. We actually rearranged the letters so that they better reflect their use in common English language. The most frequent letters are placed in the inner circles surrounding the center, while less frequent ones are found in the outer circles. Generally, the layout is chosen so as to allow movement in the shape of an eight, or at least circular motions, and this is achieved, for example, by placing often subsequently used letters opposite to each other. This allows for very fast writing and has the same feeling as handwriting. Now, since only gestures starting in the central region are needed for entering characters, we have a lot of space around to play with. Obviously, we need some function keys, one for each corner. Delete, Shift, Noom key, and Enter. We also added a voice input button. These are big buttons that you never miss. Furthermore, we can use gesture recognition for any gestures started outside of the central region to quickly produce custom character sequences such as a commonly used phrase or your name. Once familiar with the letter placement, the simplicity of the movement allows for true blind typing and sharply reduces typos, since the size of your finger is of no importance anymore. In fact, you may even want to strip everything down to the central region, since it is the only reference point you need. So give it a try. It's fun intuitive and easy to learn. Writing becomes faster, less error-prone, and inputting text on small devices finally feels right.